so currently um, our program Tray Halos, uh, it is for a rare pediatric disease, San Filippo syndrome, which is also known as lysosomal storage disorders. Um, we are also going to be developing it further for a muscular dystrophy of uh, adults, or as we call it, oculopharyngeal muscular dystrophy. That's another rare um, orphan CNS disease. So San Filippo uh, syndrome is a lysosomal storage disorders. Um, people at birth, uh, when they get it, it's uh, basically a, uh, it's a monogenic, um, a, you know, a mutation of the gene. Uh, there are four different flavors of it, A, B, C, and D, depending on uh, which gene mutates. And uh, at birth, you cannot distinguish uh, the uh, patients uh, at all from a normal birth. But since it's a lysosomal storage uh, disorder, so what happens is um, they have a uh, glycosaminoglycans, a um, kind of a sugar molecule in their uh, lysosomes that uh, uh, builds up and, and, and they do not have the enzymes that break it down. And as a result, when they are three years of age, you start to see manifestations of the disease. And initially, you will see development disorders. Uh, you will see that they are the, uh, lacking or forgetting uh, the loss of the learning skills. Uh, initially, that's how it starts, but it slowly progresses between the age of four and seven um, into other movement disorders, cognition ability, as well as it also affects their um, vital organs like cardiopulmonary, uh, you know, uh, 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 organs. And uh, it is very sad to see that it has become a terminal disease that 70% of the patients do not survive their 18 years of age, although few patients do live into the early adulthood. So that's the disease. And currently, uh, since most of these patients were lacking in enzymes, people thought that we can per perhaps provide, um, uh, you know, enzyme from outside, so so-called enzyme replacement therapies. And unfortunately, uh, what we have seen recently that they have not been successful. A couple of large pharma, Shires, and the Alexion's program in San Filippo uh, using enzyme replacement therapies, they were not successful. The other approaches that people uh, are trying in the industry are gene therapy programs that have shown at best modest efficacy so far. And um, what we have in tre uh, trehalos, it's a uh, disaccharide uh, that really goes into, if you deliver it through an IV only, it goes into the CNS as well as it goes into the muscles. So hence, uh, uh, we have earlier data, human data, that shows in the muscles, uh, in the OPMD patients, it has shown uh, remarkable efficacy. And uh, we intend to, uh, you know, address that uh, after discussions with the FDA to do a pivotal study in that study, uh, in that indication. For San Filippo, we have in vitro data where we obtained the fibroblast uh, cells from these uh, patients. Um, San Filippo patients of all different flavors, A, B, C, and D. And in all those four different kinds of fibroblasts, when we treated them with tray halos, we were able to show uh, the reduction in the uh, gags um, within a week. And so with that, um, you know, uh, strong scientific rationale, we have partnered with Team San Filippo Foundation, and we will uh, be soon starting uh, the uh, uh, up to 20 patient pivotal study in uh, San Filippo patients of all four different kinds, A, B, C, and D. Th that's remarkable in the sense if you look at it, both ERTs and gene therapy approaches, they're only specific for either A or B, whereas we have a small molecule that can address perhaps um, all four different kinds of patients. Uh, so we are uh, enrolling all those patients or, uh, in the coming study. So the product is um, uh, from uh, efficacy and uh, side effect uh, standpoint is very attractive. So first for the side effect, it's a disaccharide um, and that's uh, break it, uh, you know, easily broken down into glucose. So we don't believe, and we have up to 70 patients human data in adults, not in pediatrics, where we have shown that the side effect profile is very benign. 
So uh, we feel very good about you know uh, administering these uh, you know uh, this drug. It'll be uh, through infusion, and even in the infusion, uh, uh, you know, um, we have seen there is no infusion site reaction because it's a very simple molecule. It's not a biological molecule. So we like the side effect profile. In terms of uh, efficacy, since we have shown this in vitro data um, in human uh, cells, uh, now we need to show it uh, in real patients. And um, so, uh, so first, you know, uh, uh, rule of development of the drug, do no harm. Second, have a strong scientific uh, rationale. Um, and third, uh, you know, have some efficacy uh, data. So we have all three, and we are embarking on, um, you know, addressing these, uh, um, you know, uh, patients uh, through trehalos. The other thing, if you was see if the, there was a common element, it's very hard because it's a, you know, uh, four different kind of, uh, you know, uh, disorders that will have a different manifestations in patients differently. But if you were to see, see a common element, it's um, swallowing and walking, uh, you know, and, and we have shown that the disaccharide in adult population, at least when we did the OPMD study earlier, where our uh, endpoints were swallowing and the, and the secondary endpoints were walking, you know, um, showing the muscle strength. So we have shown that um, uh, efficacy, so we believe that um, this is uh, a good rationale to take this uh, drug into the pivotal study in San Filippo.